Well, fucking we. Holy shit, how are we going guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, this is the 62nd best NFL player for the year of 2022. Um, good news, good news. We just finished the NFL preseason week three um, uh, live stream. It went well. 38 likes, 1,000 views. Guys, come through. Come through to the live streams. It's an absolute pleasure to host you. Um, I do my very best. You know, I, I try and go between the game and, and the and the chat. Um, I try and do a bit of a 50-50 type deal. Anyways, guys, that's a success. The second success is that I've just got off the phone with the um, the hospital, and they are going to finally fund an MRI scan for my lumbar spine. I've been suffering with some really debilitating lower back pain. And I suppose prior to really, um, you know, inserting myself into a, a, a stretching routine or some sort of mobility um, work, I need to know exactly what's going on, whether it, it is a compressed disc, whether it is a, a, a ruptured disc even. It, it felt like that at times. So that's some really good news. Next weekend, uh, next week, sorry, today's Friday, next Wednesday, 12.30 p.m., I've got my scan my MRI scan. So that is some really, really good news. I'm feeling good about that. You know, there's nothing worse than having chronic back pain, um, especially when you're like, you know, 30 years old and you want to be, you want to be physical. You want to exert yourself in the gym and et cetera, but you just can't because every time, every time you try and, and do something, um, every time, every time you try and progress in the gym, um, every time you try and do a deadlift or a squat, suffer extreme pain and that is no way to live i mean i've i've been squatting deadlifting and benching my entire fucking training career that's that's 12 years yet i cannot even deadlift 135 pounds at the moment because of my back anyways guys we're not here to talk about me we're here to talk about chandler jones the older brother of uh john jones so i think he's an older brother could be younger either way they speak i, I i'm gonna say that the, the way they speak is is similar you know it's it's very calm it's a quiet confidence which can become loud either in the octagon for john or on the field for chandler um either way guys we're on to number 62 on the list thank you for watching thank you for listening and um without further ado i better get my keyboard and let's get into it Number two, I'm going to go with myself. I'm putting Tom ahead of me because he's Tom Brady, like I said. <laughs> and, I, and I feel like you should be your biggest fan. I feel like Chan... Okay. So he's put Tom Brady... But, um, hey, goats respect goats, right? This is the sack goat. Actually, no, he came second last year. Maybe even third on the sack list. TJ Watt was first. Chandler Jones is always going to be there or thereabouts. I mean, look at him. He's an absolute behemoth. And I tell you what, if he's got the tenacity of his brother, uh, he's he's most likely going to be... A Hall of Famer. It's strange to see him in a Raiders uniform, I must admit. The Raiders have had some really nice pickups this off-season. Uh, let's continue. Back to pass. Wilson steps up, gets hit by Jones and fumbles the ball. Every time I play Chandler Jones, you know, he, he's always... Uh, Trying to get a couple sacks. He's always he's always there or thereabouts, isn't he? Hunting. He continues to have great success every time he plays Seattle. In trouble, moving left, hit by Chandler Jones, and the ball comes out, and it's scooped up by Zach Allen. Tell you what, if those are all in the last 12 months, that's three sacks against Russell Wilson. At the five and into the end zone, touchdown. Five and one. Those were Chandler Jones games played and sack totals in 2020. He announced his return immediately in 2021. Cut down in the back. No wonder he wasn't listed last year. He only played five games. But he came back with a vengeance. Backfield by Chandler Jones. Welcome back, Chan. A loss of three on the first play of 2021. But he wasn't quite done. Daniel gets hit. <laughs> <Chandler Jones laughs> the Recover it. It's picked up by Corey 
Oh, mate, Jones, Jones could have easily got a, 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 what do you call it, a fumble recovery for a, a touchdown there. Oh, I feel like he's a little bit cheated, but he's a team man. For the touchdown. Tannehill turned around, and there was the professor, a PhD in back waxing, who slapped the ball in the pink mile, babe. He's in trouble, hit from behind by Jones. And again. And Chandler Jones with two... All right, so I'm going to say he probably got... I think he got 16. 16 and a half... Get that fucking pillow out of the way. 16 and a half sacks last year. Now that is a... That's a real sum. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at some stats. Chandler James Jones, born February 27th, 1990. Six foot five, 260 pounds. Went to Syracuse from eight to 11. Eight, 19, 11. That's a four-year career. Picked up in the first round of the 2012 draft with the 21st pick to the Patriots. Spent four years there. Spent a f another five years at the Cardinals, which is where I know him from. And now he's at the Raiders. He is the Super Bowl champion. I'm assuming with the Patriots. He's a four-time Pro Bowler, including last year, which is good to see. He's got a fair few other awards, I must admit. Played 32 games for Syracuse over three years, so he must have set out in the first year. He's rated as six foot six, 266 pounds, pre-draft measurables, 487 for the 40 yard dash, 35 inches in the vertical, 10 foot zero on the broad jump, 22 reps on the bench. Drafted by the Patriots, the first round of the 21st overall selection. Let's have a look at his uh, NFL stats here. 139 total games, regular season. 473 combined tackles, 107.5 sacks. 139 games, 107.5 sacks. That is an incredible ratio, including 10.5 last year. So he wasn't, he certainly wasn't in that top five, but he did lead the league in 2019 with 19 sacks. 13 the year before, 17 the year before that. In fact, he had five years with over 10 sacks in a row from 2015 to 2019. Got one in 2020, as we heard, but, but got back in the action, back in the fray, so to speak. 15 games last year, 15 games started, 41 total tackles, 10 and a half sacks. Four passes deflected, and, uh, well, the list goes on. Played one postseason game with the Arizona Cardinals. Nine tackles, decent. Two tackles for loss, no sacks. And not much else to speak about. He is the youngest of his brothers. The oldest brother, Arthur, is a former defensive end in the NFL. While his other brother, John, is an American mixed martial artist and former light heavyweight champion of the world. Currently competing in the UFC. So I'm, I'm going to say that John is actually older than Chandler by a couple of years. Maybe one year. I'm pretty sure Chandler is the youngest. And at the moment... The heaviest, but not by much, because John is coming for that heavyweight strap. With all of that being said, let's get back to the big man Chandler Jones. Sacks and a tackle for a loss in 10 minutes. His arm length is something that it's different. He gets his hands on you pretty... Yeah, look, whether it's Chandler Jones or DeForest Buckner, there's not much that's going to escape that wingspan. Quickly, and from there he's able to, you know, pull you. Chandler Jones at the bottom right just uses those hands. He's so long... Chandler Jones is obliterating Taylor Lewan. He's also very nimble. Jones, another sack. He knows how to make this target as small as possible. He can bend in different ways. He plays with great leverage. Oh, He's yeah. He's got three sacks already. He's also reached 100. Tell you what, a lot of these plays are against the uh, the Titans. For his career. And the Seahawks. Snap. Have we actually... What the... F What's going on here? How many sacks did he have in this game? The Tannehill, straight drop back. You're Hit kidding. Jones. The ball. Kick. Hang on, we got to look at that. They're probably going to tell us, but you know what I'm like with my stats. In week one against the Tennessee Titans, Jones finished with five sacks as the Cardinals won 38-13. His performance led the franchise single game sack record and he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. Okay, so a lot of these plays are from week number one. <laughs> five sacks, week number one. Oh. Far side and recovered by the oh, he was probably leading the league for about three or four weeks. You got the strength to push you back. It mixes it up. Sometimes <laughs> That's unbelievable. Pass off the ball. Sometimes he's kind of slower in his pass rush. Down the Jones' arms too long. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he got 
that? His arms are too long, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what do you say when you're sitting on the sideline, you see a guy get five sacks against your QB1? There's nothing much you can say. It's a chess match with him for sure. Tannehill wrapped up oh, not again. Chandler Jones again, number five. Five in one. On his way to his seventh season with double-digit sacks. Right, I see the play on words there. Five and one. Five in one in 2021 Five sacks? I know. his ability to take the take the ball away from the quarterback is insane he gets a strip sack damn near every time he gets home Chandler Jones got the sack and forced the fumble Jones is now over 100 career sacks and he leaves the Cardinals as their all-time sack leader with 71 and a half we've had some good battles you know I think he's one of the best players to ever play this game at that position Chandler Jones, the all-time sack king for the Arizona Cardinals. Just win. That's all that comes to mind. Just win. Best of luck, Chandler. I'm assuming, I'm assuming if you stay healthy, you're most probably going to get 10 sacks, maybe even 13. If you get 12 and a half, that means you've, you've actually reached 120 total sacks for your entire career, which is incredible. That's, that's certainly up there in the upper echelon of, of sack. Um, sackers, you could say. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This video has gone on far too long. I'm going to crack into it. In the next one, we've got Russell Wilson, a man who I will talk about more in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.